That's crazy. That's a baddie right there. <laughs> Just a I don't know where I'm at, but I know where I want to be. Every time I What's up, guys? It's the Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to another eh, video. Yeah, I'm currently at a public lake and uh, there's tons of people here right now, but it is cold as heck. It is, it's like really cold for Florida. It's like 40 degrees, 50 degrees, somewhere in that area. And um, that kind of got me wanting to do uh, some little bit of a fishing because I've never really fished more so during this type of weather. And um, I've never tried this bait that I'm actually trying out in today's video. Now today's video, I'm actually gonna be trying out the Guggen Baits Rattling Ned. I have it in my bag, but it's called the Guggen Baits Rattling Ned. And I'm also gonna try the Z-Man TRD. I've actually bought these baits before and just never rigged them up, never tried them. I got two spinning rod setups and I'm actually gonna try using both of them like on and off to see how it is. I'm gonna try throwing it around. If that doesn't work out, I'm gonna try just catching the fish in general, but today's all about comparing the Guggen Baits Rattling Ned versus the Z-Man TRD. Now, these baits are a little bit different. One has a rattle, one's super stretchy, one's probably be a lot more durable, but I'm definitely excited to try out these two baits. And I'm, I probably got kind of about probably three hours of fish, so I'm gonna switch off on and off between the two baits and see if we can get a bite on them. So, if you guys are excited about that and wanna see the rest of the video, make sure you stay tuned for that. All right, guys, we are out of the pond, not pond, lake. This thing is so huge. It's actually so freaking cold right now <laughs> compared to what four days. But here's what we got, the two different colors right here. We got Drew's Crawl for the Finesse TRD and the California Crawl for the Rattle and Nip. I tried to get the colors as close as I can, but I didn't really find the color that was more like Cali Crawl unless it was online. I didn't feel like ordering it. So, but I'm actually throwing around a couple of things if I don't end up catching anything on the Ned Rig. I've never used the Ned Rig, so I don't really know how it's going to perform. So, I got things like the, Guggen, the new Guggen Clickbait on which I'm actually about to throw right now as long as my rods permit me being untangled currently. Holy wind, dude. There's a wind chill too now. Oh. All right, but I got that new Guggen clickbait. It's a little big for what the size is supposed to be. 3 8 ounce. But this is the bait that everybody's talking about and everybody's selling out of now. So let's give it a shot. All right, first fish on, what is that, a, a Rapala? OG Rapala, brother. Dang. Always works. When it's oh. cold, always works. Oh, yeah. And we're essentially fishing right here, guys, in this kind of like this little shallow area. There's tons of like shad right now busting on the surface. We literally walked up, and they're just destroying bait up in here right now. And we're like, okay, let's give it a little bit. And we're fishing here, and we might go down to the end for a little bit, but right now I have not had any action yet myself. I'm still throwing the Ned Rig, so we'll find out. I'm gonna throw a couple of tosses on this uh, on the pipe over here. Oh my gosh. Every time I see that There's a tree over there. Alright guys. Alright. Blade on a wacky rig. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm now switching to the rattling Ned. Let's see if I can catch one on this. I can't cast this thing at all. Oh, I just got picked up. Yep, there's one. Let's go. On the rattle and Ned. Not that I know of. I've tried walking around there before. You've gotten to like almost towards the cypress trees on the left side before. That was when the water was down. Probably about to move around some more in a minute here. So I can try to see if I can get some other options to bite. I'm about to go down towards them. 
slip away, just let them all go. Not more about each other, why you staring to my soul? Is that too deep? Part in the way I speak my mind. Oh, there's one. Yep. All right. Z Man 1, Gigabase 1. It's an even game right now. Z Man caught bigger. What is wrong with this bass? Oh, what is wrong with him? This bass was attacked. The heck, guys? Check that out. Heck, he kind of looks like a. Uh... No, it's not. Okay. I thought it was a spot. Yeah, I thought it was. The way his colors are. Check that out on him, though. Check out that scar. Oh, wow. He's got some scars. Yeah. Yeah. He has the colors of what a spot looks like typically because they looks, have the stripes in there. It looks like something like grabbed onto it. Looks like a bow fin to me. Well, Z Man won. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Let's see how that Z Man is holding up. Actually, wow. The Z-Man is not holding up very well. That is surprising. That is very surprising. So, so far, Z-Man and the, the Guggen baits are lasting about the same durability. That's interesting. I'm doing something with the Ned Rig. I'm just dead sticking it right now, and that's how I got him to bite. Yep. Guys, I've never fished the Ned Rig before, but uh, this is my first time doing it with a Ned Rig. But uh, I'm just essentially what I'm doing is I'm hopping and just letting it sit straight up because that's what the Ned Rig's supposed to do. And that tail is supposed to wiggle, especially with the Z Man bait, they're supposed to float up. And I guess that's supposed to make it look good. But one thing I do like about the Z Man versus the Guggen is the fact it is floating. But the thing is, is the Guggen has the rattle, which will have air. The air is going to make it float, anyways. So, really, you're kind of getting the same benefit from both baits but one has a rattle one doesn't you can put a rattle on this thing it really won't matter but it wouldn't really have the same profile as what the normal ned bait does Whew! my hands are cold but yeah i just i kind of want to replace this rod but i also don't have a complete reason to right. but this rod's not bad i want to use it for inshore stuff too if i ever fish inshore again What did he ask? You don't eat big ones. Oh, he he hundred percent eats five pounders. He looks like the type of guy that eats five pounders. Listen, YouTube, don't don't roast me for saying this, but I, I don't agree with keeping big fish. Do not agree with it. It is wrong in every single way. It's like keeping a trout over 20 inches. Yeah. Like, you know the, uh, what is it, sea trout. Apparently it's not good to keep them over 20 inches due to the fact that like the 20 inch trout produce like 3 million eggs versus the like 100,000 that anything else below that measurement does. Hello, Hydrilla. It's nice to see you again. I see you every day because I live in Florida. Uh, one good Ned bait I want to try is uh, the Strike King Ned baits at Walmart. Company out of Albany, Georgia. My brother in law is a CFO. There we go. This that's is a, a nice one. That's a nice fish. This is a nice one. Oh, that's a big one. Actually, is it a nice one? It looks like it. Fighting like it. Oh. They got foul version. Yeah, it looks like it, but that's a big fish. Yep. Be careful. Be careful. Dang. Yes, sir. 
sir. You need a scale? Yes, sir. Oh, dude, I he's do. Fat. He's fat. He's fat. Awesome, dude. He's fat. Looks like a four and a half. Yeah. Or no, a three and a half. Yeah. What's that on that? Oh, I just got a fish. Double up, baby. Let's go. On that Guggen bait. There we go. Let's test those knee man hooks real quick. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is a new biggest of the day right there. My hands are freezing cold. I can barely feel this fish. There you go. I got a dink. <laughs> fish bump. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Compared to the, that's crazy. That's a fatty right there. <laughs> this the fish difference. You got your scale on you? Yeah, I got my scale right there. Oh, that's let's not, let's not measure mine. <laughs> that's one of those. Well, the Guggen base is winning. I wonder if this is the one I missed earlier over there. Nah, the one you missed was bigger. Was it? it did I look. think so. Here. I'm gonna let my fish go. You can. Here. Is he set up? And she's off. 3 1. 3 1? You sure? 3 1. Let me see something real quick. Three, two. Three, three, two. Three. three, three. Three and a quarter. I'll take it. Keep giving it. It's three nice. and a quarter, baby. That's a good, that's a good one right there. Let me see the durability of my Ned rig now. Well, did you look at that? Sure, sure. Huh. Thank you. Taylor, I can't believe I'm saying this, but the Guggen bait's holding up. Two fish. I'm impressed. Ow. <laughs> Big one? Yeah. On a net rig, huh? Yeah. Did he get one? Yeah, he has a big one. I wouldn't bring it over there. I'm scared. I'm really scared. Is that a, is that that's a bowfin, fish? dude. Oh, that is, yeah. Catfish. It's catfish. Yep. I called it. <laughs> First net fish. Okay. First net fish is a catfish. <laughs> that's how you curse a net rig right there. Is it a medium light rod? I got you. Here. There you go. Good one. Good guy. That's my first uh, channel cut. Do they got spikes on them? Yes. Yes, they do. Okay. Grab them from the belly up. That sounds even worse. That's what I do because whenever I'm fishing the salt water, I grab them from the belly right underneath his fins. This is a disgusting animal. <laughs> Wow. Am I recording? I am recording. Well, that's the yum Ned rig right there. Take it out if you want. Yep. If he doesn't sting me, that'd be great. I won't hold it, God damn it. <laughs> Get the hook out. Yeah, and I got pliers too. Here, I'm just going to take a picture. My, I can't feel my fingers. I'm going to take a picture and then just drop them over the water. What's up, guys? I'm back in my apartment editing the video, back with the uh, tackle board. I just wanted to do a quick wrap up of the video. So the final like score for the lures was the Guggenbaits Rattling Ned. Uh, I have it somewhere. I don't know where I put them. Guggenbaits Rattling Ned 2 and Z-Man 1. Um, I'm not going to lie. I kind of expected Z-Man to win. Uh, that's just mainly because they're more durable and they last more fish. But I was wrong. I, I was wrong about that. Because I actually caught more fish in the time before I lost both those lures in a bunch of trees. But I actually was really surprised with the durability of both the baits. And it was honestly kind of impressive. Talking about those two baits, the rattle and the Guggen baits definitely made a difference. It makes a difference by a long shot. Especially when those conditions are really bad. It gets bit when maybe nothing else does. Which... I never thought it would have made a difference, but I guess it did. You guys saw the video yourselves, it did. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I just wanna say thank you again, guys, because I had a thousand subs last week. I've been really busy with finals and school and stuff like that, and it's been killing me, and I've been hating it, because I just wanna upload for you guys. So I'm glad I'm finally getting an upload for you guys. This should be up on tomorrow, which is Friday after my, uh, no, not Friday, Thursday after my finals end. Guys, there's a lot of big plans right now. There's some crazy plans that I do over this break while I'm between semesters right now. But I'm gonna try to grind out as much content for you guys. Another video waiting to be edited and out the shoot. And um, I'm actually gonna try to do some more saltwater content here soon. It's saltwater cold season, so it's kind of like trout come up in the creeks. And I just wanna give it a shot. I'm gonna see how it turns out Friday if I end up doing it or not. But if you guys are excited for all of this, and I just wanna say thank you guys for 1,300 subscribers last time I checked, which I literally gained 300 in three days, which is awesome. It's just about collaborations and doing stuff with Yat Pack and Norman. I am so grateful for all of it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, guys, I hope you are enjoying all my videos. I'm gonna keep pumping out content for you guys. And I just wanna thank you guys again for the support y'all are giving me. Keep liking the videos, keep showing me some love, and I will keep showing you guys some love. Stay tuned on the channel and uh, other than that, guys, see you on the water. My alarm clock going off, guess I was dreaming this time.